After we have inspected the rug and tested for color fastness, the next step is dry soil removal, usually referred to as dusting. There are a number of ways to remove dry soil, but simply vacuuming is not enough. The woven construction and the dense construction of many rugs make it impossible for enough soil to be removed. Additionally, many rugs are made of wool. Wool naturally captures and hides soil in the scaly outer layer known as the epidermis or cuticle. This hidden dirt was once removed by beating a rug. Now it is common for that action to be imitated by shaking or vibrating the rug. This can be accomplished with a beater bar on the back side of the rug, with air currents or with a machine like the Rug Badger Cub that you see being used here. We begin by placing the rug face down on a grid. Openings in the grid allow dry soil that has been loosened to fall through. We will make a couple of slow, lengthwise passes with the Rug Badger. When we reach the end, the operator will be careful to not catch the fringe in the machine. When we have completed dusting the lug lengthwise, the operator turns 90 degrees and works across the width of the rug. As an average, it will take about 10 minutes to badger a 100 square foot rug. Let's see how much dirt we've removed. Wow, that is a lot of soil from a small rug. This is soil that would not be removed by normal vacuuming or even submersion cleaning without the dusting step. Notice that the dirt is gritty and abrasive. This can cut through wool fibers, wearing it away and leading to pile loss. It is important that this deep soil be removed. 